It may be appropriate within an Excel worksheet, either for presentation purposes or for printing purposes, to have an image in one worksheet of data in another worksheet. It might sound a little strange at first, but take a look at this worksheet here. This is first quarter data, and I'm going to jump over to second quarter data, the bottom of the screen here. You might have noticed a slight little blip there. I'm going to go back to first quarter, here's second quarter, and off to third quarter to the right. I'm clicking on the sheet tab. A slight little nudge each time, fourth quarter. The data to the right looks a little strange, and the columns that we see in here don't seem to match up with the column letters. What's happening over here? And as I slide the mouse over, something else. This is actually a picture. And unlike a snapshot, this is, in effect, a live picture of data on the summary sheet. So let's revisit this a little bit. Each of these sheets, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, there's data in columns A through E. The summary sheet has totals that gather data from those respective sheets. So for example, in cell B3 is a formula that gathers data from the first quarter sheet, cell E3. This is from the second quarter sheet and so on. So the summary sheet is pulling together all these totals. And the numbers that we're seeing here, in effect, all of these numbers here, has effectively been captured and being displayed on the other sheets as if we were using a monitor, like a TV monitor, like a camera. And so when we go to the fourth quarter sheet, keep your eye on one or two totals here. Say the grand total is 169,000, the fourth quarter total is 46,790. We'll jump over to the fourth quarter sheet. And what are we seeing out here? We were just looking at this image on the right on the summary sheet. It's actually in those cells. And because these formulas are all tied together, each of these sheets here, no matter which one we go to, if we make changes here, we will see changes in this image on the right because it's like a live data, a live camera, viewing the summary sheet. So for example here, if I change the data in B3, I'm going to bump it up to 13,000. It's going to have impact on the first quarter total right here on this worksheet. It's going to bump it over 40,000. And meanwhile, on the summary sheet, which shows this total also, as we look at the image over here, now remember, it's part of that picture, you might say, that picture link, that will change, and it's going to bump up the grand total to just over 170,000. So as I click on cell B3 here, this is on the first quarter sheet, I'm typing in 13,000. And as I press Enter, keep your eye, if you can, in three places, in column E, and then in the image off to the right, the first quarter total and the grand total. Enter. And we see those changes. So this can be ideal when you've got worksheets that are interlinked. And unlike just a solid picture, this is a picture link. So let's get rid of this one and show how to create it. I'm just going to click it and press delete. On the summary sheet, well, I'll highlight it. Highlight the data. This is what we would like to see on that first quarter sheet. So we've highlighted it. We can right click and copy anywhere. There we go. Go to first quarter. Probably click up here, click there. It doesn't make any difference. We can move it around a little bit too. On the home tab, below the paste icon, click the arrow. And the two options we would consider would be a linked picture, possibly, or simply a picture. A picture is like saying, we're going to take a snapshot of it, stick it out here. It will never change. A linked picture is like putting that TV monitor, that TV camera right here. Let's choose linked picture. Click. There it is. Now we can move it around. It looks a little strange if we see the grid lines in the background, but it is linked. And I'll make another change. I'll go maybe do sort of undo what I did before. I'll put this back at 12,500. It was a different number before that, but as I do this, the changes will take place in column E and on that image to the right. The grand total for that particular row will go below 170,000. There we are. If you'd like to spiff this up a little bit, again, you can move it around, place it wherever you want. You can make it smaller. I don't think that would be a good idea because then our rows aren't lining up with the data so well, but you certainly have the right to do that. If you right click on this, you might want to then go to format picture and possibly out here fill in, say, with a solid color in the background. And you can explore this a little bit. For example, maybe I'll use a light blue or something. And you pick this one, just 
you know, you see what's happening to the image. And then as we drag it around, we're not seeing through it to see the lines. So I think you can see there's some real appeal for this sort of thing. Now remember, we could have, and let's say we will now, show how this might be as a picture. Could have done it during the same sequence of actions too. Highlight this, right click, copy the data. This time we'll go back to first quarter and just for comparison, put it off to the right here. And on the home tab, click that arrow under paste. This time choose paste picture. And so that's a picture off to the far right. And right here we have the actual picture link. So if I change this number again back to 13,000, the image that's more or less in the middle of the screen will change and adjust. The picture off to the right will not. It's that sort of snapshot in time. There we go. It's staying the same and it doesn't reflect the latest totals. You can think of a good use for that too because sometimes you want to keep an image of the history or how totals appeared at a certain time while you update and put in the new data. You want an image of the old data possibly. So we can use it in that sense. And you can also do this with charts. Although you can't really do a link. This chart off to the right really isn't a chart in the live sense. It's a picture. It's an image. And when you click on it, you'll notice that in the ribbon, picture tools and format. And this might have an ideal use. We'll use it with this chart here. Suppose these numbers have been finalized. Maybe it's for a given year. And you might want to put in new numbers for the next year while keeping an image of this around. So we can right click and copy this chart. And then we'll just, in this example, go below this. And on the home tab, click the arrow for paste. And we've got fewer choices here because it's a chart. Just paste this as a picture. We don't have a picture link option here. Paste it as a picture. Now that's frozen in time. The chart above it is linked to the data and will react. If I change domestic here, and imagine I make a typo, I mean to type 85 and I type 850 or something. Okay, the chart on top will reflect, and you see what's happening. The one below was a picture, like a snapshot in time. It doesn't change. Let me do an undo here. When you do have images like this too, a quick fix for some people, and it's kind of fun too, click format, and you've got suddenly a lot of choices here, and you just have to try some of these. And you didn't even know perhaps that you could tilt the chart and have a reflection underneath it, do all kinds of interesting things here just by sliding over this one, that one. See the shadows in the background here and there, that sort of thing, fun stuff. There we go. You want a bigger reflection than that? Once you've clicked on this, go into picture effects and choose the reflection type you might want. And you can make the case for how critically important that really is. So easy capability here for converting charts into pictures. And prior to that, the more important perhaps, creating pictures and picture links within worksheets.